Hey I have some more questions about art. What type of art? African mask and their kind of art. Okay shoot me a few questions. How much emphasis does African art place on the human figure? Like we do. Prehistoric people often represented their world and beliefs through visual images. Art emerged with the appearance and dispersion of Homo sapiens from Africa, Europe, Asia, Australasia, and the Americas. Paintings, sculptures, engravings and later pottery reveal not only a quest for beauty but also complex social systems and spiritual concepts. Is the artwork created considered realistic or abstract in nature? Abstract art uses a visual language of form, color and mind to create a composition which may exist with a degree of independence from visual references in the world. Western art had been, from the Renaissance up to the middle of the 19th century, underpinned by the logic of perspective and an attempt to reproduce an illusion of visible reality. The arts of cultures other than the European had become accessible and showed alternative ways of describing visual experience to the artist. By the end of the 19th century many artists felt a need to create a new kind of art which would encompass the fundamental changes taking place in technology, science and philosophy. Does African art focus on sculpture or other type of media? Is all art produced in preliterate, prehistorical cultures beginning somewhere in very late geological history? and generally continuing until that culture either develops writing or other methods of record keeping, or it makes significant contact with another culture that has dot the very earliest human artifacts showing evidence of workmanship with an artistic purpose are subject of some debate. It is clear that such workmanship existed by 40,000 years ago in the Upper Paleolithic era. From the Upper Paleolithic through the Mesolithic, cave paintings and portable art such as figurines and beads predominated with decorative figured workings also seen on some utilitarian objects, does African art create it to be a static object? If so slash not why is this so? African art had a very different function and a very different way of life, from that of European or Western culture. To begin with, it was an integral part of an all-pervading religion. Individual images were representatives, at times even embodiments, though not idols, to be worshipped, as many Europeans mistakenly used to think of the vital forces believed to exist in all living matter. Often these images spoke for the spirits of the dead, thus perpetuating the vital essence of tribal ancestry, and becoming identified with the ancestral spirits. Although there are secular aspects to most of the forms used, and some artistic objects are purely decorative and ornamental, in general, African tribal artifacts were created as religious art for a particular ritual or ceremonial use. This is true not only for masks and figurines but also for carved items ranging from musical instruments, scepters and ceremonial axes to stools, doorposts and doors. Although the individual craftsman or artist might be recognized 